Greetings, fellow human. I hope you're having a spiffy rific day. My name is Baron, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 8K consumer oriented camera thing that Sharp announced a few weeks back at CES. We're also going to talk about, you know, Canon when they were like, oh, we're going to make an 8K camera too. And then we're also going to talk about whether or not 8K is something we need to worry about at all. Let's do it. Yeah. So a few weeks ago at CES, Sharp had a camera out for people to look at. It had a five inch screen and it shoots 8K and it looks ridiculously similar to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. It's similar looking in the fact that it's ugly as crap. Sharp didn't tell anyone a release date or anything. In fact, we don't know a whole lot about the camera. We know it's gonna shoot in 8K and some people are saying it's gonna shoot in 8K 60 frames per second. Who knows, that'd be weird. We do know it has a micro four thirds sensor. It might have a microphone jack and a headphone jack. I would assume that it would have that, but again, we don't know. Right now, it kind of looks like it's gonna have a single card slot. We don't know if that's gonna be an SD card or one of those XQD things. It's gonna use H.265 compression and it could cost anywhere between $3,000 and $5,000. Probably closer to $3,000. Otherwise, no one's gonna buy it because it looks ugly. Now, a lot of people saw this and went, whoa, 8K in a little tiny camera. That's so cool. And Canon, they, they couldn't be out. They couldn't be outdone. No. About a week later, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more, but it wasn't too long afterwards. Canon announces that they have an 8K mirrorless camera on the roadmap. So it's eventually coming. Unlike Sharp, they don't have a prototype. This was just an announcement. They also went on to announce that they had some other R-mount professional options in the works as well. They also made a big deal about letting everyone know that video was a big focus for them. That's something that they're really, really paying attention to, which is a good thing because they've been falling behind with the video stuff for a while. I mean, everyone does video better than Canon, even Olympus. I kind of think that Canon might be focusing on getting 8K out there to everyone really fast. I think they want to be ahead of it because they were so far behind with 4K. And I think they're hoping to make up that ground in the 8K race. Something else to keep in mind is that Canon is usually really careful about these kinds of announcements. So there's a good chance that we might actually see this 8K R mount camera coming out fairly soon. And when I say fairly soon, I mean, you know, within the next 10 years because it's Canon. So there have been 8K capable cameras in the cinema realm for a while now, especially with RED. I think they've got like a Helium and there's another one too. I don't remember what it is, but they've done 8K for a while. So now that we're starting to see 8K trickle down into these smaller body cameras that's more accessible, is 8K something that we really need to worry about? Is there 8K on the immediate horizon or is it a little bit farther off? And there are a lot of people arguing against 8K being important at all. And it's all the same arguments that everyone said against 4K just a few years ago. You remember when everyone said, nobody's watching anything on a 4K TV? Well, they are now. And of course, nobody's watching anything on an 8K television right now, but I'm sure they will in the near future. And you probably will too. And you'll, you're gonna like it. You like, you love that 8K. You love it. And there are plenty of people that are still arguing against 4K because the file sizes are so large. And with 8K, those file sizes are going to be way larger. But with the storage media that we have getting faster and cheaper, I don't think this is a really valid argument anymore. I mean, it is still kind of expensive, but if you're gonna do work as a professional, you gotta spend some money sometimes. It just, that's just how it is, you know? And then there's the guys that are gonna say, well, we can't see anything in 8K anyway. Our eyes can't uh, see all that detail. And it's our responsibility as forward-thinking professionals to look them right in the eye and go, dude, quit being an old guy, dinosaur person. You gotta move with the times. It doesn't matter if we can see 8K or not. If everybody wants us to shoot in 8K and that's what they're gonna pay us for, then we're going to shoot in 8K. And they're gonna watch it in 8K even though they can't see it in 8K and it doesn't matter because that's what's gonna happen anyway. So we might as well deal with it instead of being, you know, dinosaurs and be like, meh, I only shoot in 480. Meh, I'm old. 480. And for those of us who have been shooting in 4K for quite a while now, we are accustomed to a kind of workflow that 
involves us being able to punch in without losing resolution. It also is hard to, you know, give away all that detail when we have an image like that. Like, even if you take a 4K image and you squeeze it down to 1080, it is way more detailed than a 1080 image just in general, just because it captured, it, it, it looks better. I don't argue, it looks better. And now that everyone is running out to the store and buying all these 4K televisions, there is starting to be quite a bit more demand for 4K content, native 4K content. So if we as the video professionals want to retain that workflow that we've become accustomed to that works really well for us, then we can shoot in 8K and we can still crop in, we can still get that detail when we're delivering the files at 4K. So, yeah. The bottom line on the situation is that 8K is coming and there is no way that we're going to be able to avoid it. We might as well adopt as well as we can, as quickly as we can. And I think that's the only way that we're gonna stay viable as professionals. Now, if we're not professionals, if we're amateurs and that sort of thing, we can hold off a little bit more, but don't think you're never gonna shoot an 8K. It will happen if you're gonna end up, but your phone is gonna end up shooting in 8K in the next few years, I guarantee it. That Australian photographer guy, uh, Matt Granger, he did a video uh, a few years back, actually, and he shot that whole video in 8K, and he talks about the 8K coming as well, and he says it ridiculously, he says it better than me. I'm gonna put that link down there so you can click that. That's a, that's, that's where it's worth watching. So I'm actually kinda curious about what you guys think about 8K, are you, are you dreading 8K coming or are you looking forward to shooting in 8K and having all that extra detail or, you know, are you freaking out because of the storage or are you excited? And just let me know. You know what? Just let me know what your thoughts on 8K are. Just put your uh, comment down in the video pants down below and I would love to find out. Well, that's everything I got for you today. If you like this video, do the thing where the thumb goes up. If you did not like this video, the thumb can go down and I'll just kind of growl at you. That was, it wasn't very intimidating, was it? Also, I do a video every single week. If you wanna see more, you go ahead and do the subscribey thing and then you gotta ring the bell. Cause if you don't ring the bell, then subscribing is kind of pointless cause you'll never know when there's a video. So you gotta do them both cause that's how it works. So now you can take your camera and you can go out into the world and make something awesome. Yeah.